um, celebrating Sonic's birthday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, Sonic. Happy uh, birthday, Sonic. If you're watching out there. Um, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and, and as well as that, we're here to sort of uh, let everyone know yet again how the, the Dimensions lineup's getting bigger mm -hmm. um, with the new toys that, that are coming out in the second wave. We kind of talked about the first wave for, from September. Sure, sure. Um, but the November wave of toys, which, which we're showing here, including Sonic and his car, uh, E.T. and everything else. But we were showing some new stuff as well that we haven't shown. Everyone was so excited that, that uh, obviously, the Land of Ooh and Adventure yeah. Times in the game. And so we're here with, uh, with Finn. Um, with all these different mechanics, you know, all these different swords. Yeah. Also, there have been, you know, there have been a handful of Adventure Time games over the past couple of years. They've all, like, some of them have been all right, some of them not so much, but I feel like the Lego model of gameplay is perfect for Adventure Time and yeah. perfect for the suite of characters and perfect for sort of the, the whimsy of the world and their different powers. Yeah, and, and, and uh, Jimmy, who's my co-game director and, and the team that are on Adventure Time have kind of nailed Everything. If you yeah. if you know about Adventure Time, then yeah, you're going to get to play you know Finn and Jake and a whole host of other yeah, characters. Yeah. Um, and it's you know this we'll we'll, we'll put uh, Lumpy on in a minute as well. Yeah. Um, she just sits around singing and. I mean, that's what she does. Crazy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's a diva. So oh, this, this is actually doubly great for Adventure Time fans or pretty much fans of any of the licenses that you're pulling in because you're not only getting new toys, but you're also getting a new game out of it. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, the the Adventure Time, um, you get a huge level. So obviously here you're in, uh, you know, Jake and Finn's treehouse. That everyone will kind of know. Um, but you get to, to go across the whole land of Ooh. You've got an adventure world to explore. There's a couple of these new battle arenas. The you know the four player co-op things we yeah, talked yeah. about. Um, but as well, you know, you're getting you're here. You've got you know Jake the dog. But yeah. one of the coolest things he does is all these weird, crazy transforms wow. you know, from the I show. Love this. And so. Um, you know, you can turn him into like a, a trampoline. <laughs> which, <laughs> I thought that was a table. I'm like, are they going to eat on his on their friend? Yeah. Um, but you know, it, it also allows all different gameplay, um, you know, ways of playing the gameplay sure, because sure. of these different things in there. Um, some of the transforms are, are, are awesome. So wow. you've got this one here, and then you can effectively you can jump inside. inside. Yeah. And if you look in the little window, yeah, you can just see there's there's Finn inside. Yeah, I always, is that, is that comfortable there. for him? That looks terrible. no. I mean, I've always, I'm a huge Adventure Time fan, but I always get mildly uncomfortable when uh, Finn jumps inside of his dog and wears him as, as oh god. Yeah, yeah, it can't, it can't be right, can it, really? It's uh, like getting in a Transformer, almost. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole appeal of Adventure Time, though, is it's one of those things where like, kids can watch it and be like, oh, this is cute and awesome, and then an adult watches them, like, all right, this is kind of messed up. Which I think pairs perfectly with the LEGO games in general, right? I mean, you can go in, and I'm, I'm one of those people that 100%s every LEGO game. I'm working on Force Awakens right now. It's just my thing. I, I beat Jurassic World. Just went in there, got everything. Uh, and that's why I really appreciate what you're able to do with this game because it's actually giving you guys the ability to flex in numerous different art styles that you wouldn't normally see. I wouldn't say that all of the LEGO games sort of have a uniform art style, but they're pretty much immediately identifiable. Yeah, like yeah. You look at something like this and you're like, wait, is that? Oh, it is a LEGO game. Yeah. Like yeah. It takes a second. Yeah, and then that's the great thing about Dimensions. Each um, kind of a brand or franchise you go to has a completely distinct feel to it. So, you know, in here in Adventure Time, if we drop Sonic in, then Sonic is kind of cell shaded, whereas if He's in, you know, ET's adventure world. He's, he's kind of real life looking. Yeah, um, everyone sort of adapts to their surroundings. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, but you know, yeah. Sonic is just so so cool in this game because the the guys have spent time just analysing all the Sonic games, getting the movement right, getting the feel of him completely right. And again, with with the toys, you know, you've got Sonic's car, you've got, you've got the, you know, the tails playing. Which I've still never understood, by the way. <laughs> his legs. See, look at him right here. Look how fast he is. That's it. You've got to go Love fast. Um, yeah, you know, so get a car and you, you'll go faster. But yeah. um, it's 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 really cool playing as So what sort of market research did you guys do to figure out that 80s babies are the ones with the most expendable income? Because you are specifically <laughs> targeting us with yeah. this wave. You've got the A-team, you've got Gremlins, you've got Goonies, you've got Sonic, you've got E.T. I mean, this is not, this, a 10-year-old kid doesn't really know a lot of these properties, but you're yeah. specifically you're spe going after yeah, us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I'm, I'm that era, you know, I'm, I'm 75, so, yeah. You're as old? Uh, yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> looks so good. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah, the moisturizer. Um, yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm like, I'm in my 40s now, but I grew up watching, you know, A-Team. Yeah. Goonies is my favorite movie ever. You know, Beetlejuice I love, you know, Gremlins. You, 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 you can't not love these franchises. So you've got things that are going to appeal to, to the wider audience like Adventure Time and, and Sonic and then kind of niche things. Mm -hmm. So what's going to be cooler than sort of as a dad playing Goonies with your kids and sort of kind of reliving that movie um, but in, in Lego form and it is, it Dimensions is for everyone. Yeah. And, and we know from, from doing like kind of our research <laughs> that there is no 
core demographic. It's everyone. Yeah. Which I really appreciate because you're actually, if you look at something like Gremlins, not really the kid-friendliest movie. I mean, pretty violent, right? I mean, the, a lot of those 80s movies were like, hey, this is for kids, but also it probably should be rated yeah. R. It's the 80s, so it's yeah, fine. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen back then were like, ah, oh, whatever. Look at that, look at the side. Oh, that was really cool. Sorry, <laughs> I got distracted. So you got this yeah. little gizmo now. Uh, yeah, and the, the cool thing about gizmo, all the things you, you kind of identify, you know, when he targets, he does the little Rambo thing, yeah. which is really cool. What if he falls in water? Does it just get horrible? <laughs> It's one of those things that's still being worked on, but yeah, when he falls in water, we're going to have kind of come, some kind of furball incident will occur. I don't know if I'm prepared to see that in such an adorable art style. That's like, <laughs> it's a very, that's a, it's a heart wrenching moment to yeah. see those gremlins pop out of his back. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of a pain pleasure thing, you know. Yeah. You never know whether he's really enjoying it. <laughs> and, or and not. like, I mean, similarly with ET, right? They, that movie gets into yeah. some sort of dark themes by the end. There's government testing. He looks yeah. very sickly by that river. Like, I try not to yeah. think about that a lot. But yeah, that you know, as a minifigure, it's just ET is just so so good. Um, and yeah, you know, he's gonna have uh, the, the you know, obviously everyone remembers in the movie when kind of gets dressed up as like Mrs. ET, I think, wherever you'd call him. So again, that will be his kind of disguise mechanic. Elliot kind of cycles in on, on, yeah. on the bike. Yeah, bang, there you go, you're now Mrs. E.T. Um, so. Even give him a little trail of like um, orange and yellow mini studs and be like, oh, the Reese's Pieces. Yeah. <laughs> That's a whole different type of brand. Name. <laughs> uh, so do any of these levels come with their own uh, open world, sort of like the Springfield pack yep. and uh, you know, Wizard of Oz? Every single one of these packs comes with, with an adventure world. Um, so obviously the, like, the, the thing for the adventure time is we've got a level pack, we then have a, a Marceline fun pack, uh, and we've also got the Lump Space Princess fun pack. So any of those will give you access to that adventure world. But they, they all come, and that's the thing year two. Every pack has got an adventure world and a unique battle arena. Um, so it, it's so cool that you're gonna get kind of more content per pack. Um, we're really yeah. trying to kind of build on it and make sure people get like really get value for money with these these toys. Yeah, what I really appreciate about, uh, about this is the sort of toy box approach that you guys have. I mean, I remember being a kid and just opening up my not. box of toys and just being like, oh, today Batman is fighting the G.I. Joe and you know, <laughs> here's Wonder Woman. And I mean, you've got you've got a gremlin and you've got E.T., which I feel like historically wouldn't get along in canonically in any films. Yeah. Gremlins don't usually get along with anybody. No. No. Yeah. And, but they can all live happily together. Uh, you know, you can you can then throw you know Mr. T into the mix. Have uh, <laughs> one does. Yeah. You, know, you can have Sonic driving around in the A-Team van. It, it, Lego Dimensions really doesn't have rules. It, it is that toys life game where you can any of these toys work with anything. The, the limit is you've got seven places on your portal yeah. to stick well, with in things. Well, in the 80s, these characters usually got together to be like, hey kids, you know, don't, don't get smoke. in trouble, don't smoke, <laughs> don't drink. And here they're like, um, yeah, just let's wreck this guy's house and eat a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give it. Don't give Gizmo a sandwich. No. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. that depends on the time of day. Yeah, absolutely. But but yeah, the, the, the cool thing is these toys are coming. And we haven't even shown the Fantastic Beast story pack, which yeah. that's, that's a whole movie experience. You know, this, this kind of November sort of uh, offering for Dimensions kind of builds on that September one. And there's so many cool packs. Um, now, uh, Arthur, when can uh, us 80s babies and everyone else of all walks of life begin to throw our tiny little wallets yeah. at you? Well, September you can start throwing wallets at us, um, and then and then in November we'll still be catching because we've got we've got wave one and wave two. But the the cool thing is, all you need to be able to play all of this cool stuff for year two is the starter pack from year one. Awesome. So it doesn't need a new starter pack. Just buy that starter pack, and if you haven't, go and grab one now. Um, this is the time to play Lego Dimensions.